Okay, so let's talk about something lighter. Um, head covering styles. I don't think I'm going to be able to model my styles anymore because my camera is so grainy and you can barely see what's going on. I think I maybe have told you about this. But yeah, it's grainy. You can't really see. It's just me talking my face. Um, but I have also noticed that, you know, you sort of grow in and out of different head covering styles. I guess it depends on how busy you are, your mood at that given, you know, space of time, and also, you know, I don't know, just different things. Because, to be honest, I keep wearing this. I also wear a black snood. I mean, it's just so easy to throw on. Yes? Hello? 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 Um, someone just came to the door and I'm just going to continue this video. Sorry about that. Ha ha ha. Um, anyway. Uh, so I, I've noticed that, you know, I don't, you know, because, you know, my first one, you know, you had the underscarf and then you had the blue and then you had the eye makeup and then you had the earrings. Um, I do that every now and then, but lately I've just been doing the black one. I mean, look at this. I actually had a pair of liturgical dance pants. Dance pants. Dance pants. Dance pants. I love saying that. Um, that, you know, I got from the thrift store, and the material was just marvelous. I mean, seriously. It, it's, it's like, it's not too heavy, but it's kind of silky, so it doesn't, you know, um, rub against my hair and cause issues. I love it, and I was sort of like, well, because I actually cut it, I cut the pants up and used it as a big, long skirt, sort of like to go under some of my um, lighter peasant um, skirts, um, especially I had a black one that I could actually wear in the winter with that skirt, but I didn't wear it much, so I'm like, well, maybe I'll just cut a giant triangle out of it. Oh, and it's, oh, it's so luxurious. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and it's so easy to throw on, and I can wear it to bed, I can wear it to work, I can wear it anywhere, and it does, and it looks nice. Um, and, um, I can, you know, you can't really see, but I can wear it to the side. I love it, I love it. And I've noticed that I, I can, um, I can pull off having my hair pulled back, showing all this forehead, if I have my scarf in a certain way. Um, otherwise it just looks weird. Um, or I'll wear, you know, bangs and stuff like that. But this used to be my go-to, um, scarf. Just, just take a look at this. Take, take a look at this. Right. Hello. Look at that hole right there. See? See, look at all those holes. Um, there was something burning on the stove, and I had to pick it up really fast. And I used this to protect my hands. And it protected my hands, but it didn't protect the fabric very well. Um, but it got ratty, but it was wonderful. It was from Con Air, but they stopped making the, um, the scarves. Um, so yeah, so I just, you know, I, I, I made this one, and I love it, and, and I've noticed that that, 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 my, this black scarf and my black snoot are pretty much the ones I wear very frequently. Everything else is just sort of like, because I have a lot of scarves, um, you know, I tried on, I did the turban once, and that, that, that takes some planning. I mean, I can't just like, oh, I think I'll put that one on. I had to plan out the night before if I'm going to put it on, and, you know, make sure that my classes aren't going to conflict, or, because or, I'd, I'd go to work right before my classes at my old school, and I couldn't put that on because I had to wear a visor and all that. So I'd only be able to wear it on those days when I didn't have to go to work in the morning. So so at this point, I'm more into, like, no fuss, no must, just throw it on and get it going. Um, so, you know, that I think that, 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 you know, your schedule <laughs> plays into how you cover your hair. Um, because I do have those pretty, you know, cotton ones that I've worn before. But because they're cotton, I can't just throw them on my head. Um, and they drape kind of weird sometimes. Um, they don't have a lot of, they, they aren't very full. Um, so I have to be careful what I wear them with. And they don't always match with what I'm wearing. Because I used to try and match everything. Um, black goes with everything, especially since it matches my hair. And from a far, far away distance, it kind of looks like hair. So I'm like, I like this one a lot. So I do think that, you know, sometimes we grow in and out of different coverings. And, um, uh... <laughs> Because I am no longer in Amish slash Mennonite territory. Actually, it was mostly Mennonite, no Amish. Mennonite territory. 
I am this close to buying one of those heart-shaped Amish caps. I really want one. I want one. I might not be able to wear it much, but I want one. Because they're so adorable. I mean, seriously, they are precious. Um, I just wish it wasn't white, because white gets dirty so fast. But, um, but yeah, ha actually, because I don't feel called to drink, to dress plainly. I don't. Um, some ladies do. Um, and I think that's another, you know, witness to the world where I think, I think it's sort of like the plain and also sort of like the fashionable sort of modest. They, they, they are two sides to a very important corn. When you've got the plain, you've got sort of simplicity, purity, very, very simple, very nice. I like that. Um, it speaks to a world that's so inundated with just like stuff, 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 stuff. And like, you have to have it in order to be happy. I mean, seriously, look at the Christmas commercial. They're sort of like, like, do you want your children to know that you love them? Do you really want them to love you back? Well, buy them a DVD player. Honestly, I'd have so much more, more respect for a commercial that said like, hey, you want to watch some DVDs this Christmas? buy a DVD player. Like, hey, does your hu does your husband like to do woodwork? Buy him a chainsaw versus like, do you do you want to let your husband know that you love him? Buy him a chainsaw. Like that's love right there. That's love. Uh, it's so annoying. But I do think that plain dressing it speaks to that, you know, like like simplicity and purity when in a world that is so not simple and so against anything pure. Um, but then, you know, dressing fashionably, that speaks to a world that is sort of like, well, they don't want to change too much, but it's sort of like, well, look, you can still look awesome, but you can still keep it within a confined, um, sort of modest, well, not sort of, but modest ideal, where it's sort of like, you aren't showing everything off, but you still look cool. Um, I sort of play, or not, I mean, I go for, like, the Audrey Hepburn style. I love that style. It's modest, it's clean lines, but it's awesome. It looks great. And a lot of, you know, especially young girls, you know, they can see that. And see, they don't have to change drastically in order to fit into, you know, well, I can still be cool, but I don't have to show every last inch of skin, even when I'm wearing leggings, because leggings are not pants. They show off, they, they give off entirely too much information. Leggings are just, no. You put something over them, make sure that it at least comes down to mid-thigh. Put on a giant sweater, okay? That's all I ask. I'm sick and tired of seeing the things that I see with leggings. It's like, okay? All right? Okay, rant over. Um, but, yeah, uh, before I got into the whole plain um, dressing, oh, but I will have a plain dress this summer. I am going to be doing, you know, I told you, I'm going to dress like a lady. I'm going to be working out in the field, and I want to dress like a lady. I, it's going to be like cotton, you know. Uh, it's probably going to be like a tan or brown color, something very sturdy, something, you know, I can work in definitely that can breathe and stuff like that. But I want to look like a girl, especially like when I have to, you know, stop by Walmart or something to pick up some supplies or do something important after work. Um... I want to look like a girl because I'm tired of having to schlep into Walmart in my giant baggy XXXXXXL shorts with a drawstring pulled so tight that you've got all this bunching around my waist. I'm tired of wearing these ugly, big, stained, because I it's like when I'm working outside, my hands get dirty and I just wipe them on my shirt, um, T-shirts. Then, and then it's like I got my, my Raggedy Ann um, head covering because I, I still keep this one for like, you know, working outside. And I just look like a mess. And I'm like, yeah, looks aren't everything I know. But I feel more, see, that's the thing. It's sort of like I'm dressing in a way that is sort of like, well, my shorts may as well be a dress because they're so huge. The shirt I'm wearing may as well be part of a dress because it's so huge. So I'm like, I'm going to take, you know, some of the styles of like the, the Mennonites and the Amish and turn it into a good work dress. Because, you know, back in the 30s, women used to wear work in dre dresses. And I found these awesome work boots. They're work boots. They're made for men, but they're work boots, but they look so they're beautiful, and they're going to last forever, because, I mean, whether I was going to wear shorts or not, I need some work boots, because I tried working last summer in the field with tennis shoes, which is great when it's hot and dry, but when it's been raining, and you've got, like, you know, 100% humidity, it's, like, a bajillion degrees outside, but the dew will not leave the ground until, like, four in the afternoon, I hate wet feet. I hate wet feet and stuffy 
socks stuffed into your shoes. It makes me want to do bad things. I hate it so thoroughly. And they smell. Because where I'm going, there's lots of sand. And sand and bacteria and shoes, it's bad. It's bad. I had to throw away a pair of shoes. I'm not saying that, you know, leather boots are going to save me from that, but I do want something that's, you know, going to be sturdier um, and something that's not going to be destroyed very easily. Um, something that's, you know, also waterproof because the shoes I'm getting are waterproof, um, at least to a certain extent, because I hate wet feet. I, I, or at least wet feet in socks and tennis shoes. It makes me want to scream. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm looking for it, and I'm going to sew this dress myself. I don't have a sewing machine, but I do know how to sew um, by hand. And it's going to be awesome. I mean, this is going to be feminine, but it's going to be rugged. I mean, I'm bringing back the work dress. I'm bringing it back, and it's going to be awesome. You will maybe see. I will try and post some pictures or something. I haven't even started on it, but I'm getting my plans in line. Oh, yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be awesome. In fact, I even plan on, you know, you know how you, there's like those those safari shirts that guys wear where it has like vents in the back? Well, you know how the, the men and night dresses have the capes? I'm going to somehow work it so I can put some mesh back there and have like a, a ventilation cape. Oh, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to work in the field because that, that's what my major is going to be. That's, that's what I'm going to go into. There's going to be lots of field work, just as much field work as there's going to be um, lab work. And hey, I mean, if I can, you know, dress like a lady and, you know, do some of that, you know, proclamation without actually saying anything, you know, well, let's work it. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to do another video. I'm not sure. We'll see. You'll, you'll see if this one pops up. Okay. Bye.